Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. So this is your week, your weekly read. This is for January the 26th to February the 1st, 2020. What guidance do we have for Pisces? All right. So we have dark matter of the soul. Ooh, Pisces. So you guys may be in a dark time right now. Let's read what we have for this. Can you guys come check the eggs? You are ready for a more real and radiant and radiant relationship with the divine. Your preconceived ideas and safe limited behaviors may be sacrificed in order for this to happen. To the divine, these are only the clothing of your spirit. They are impediments to the absolute intimacy the divine seeks with, the, with you. You might feel vulnerable or uncertain as the divine goes about stripping away those barriers. This is when you enter the dark night of the soul. You understand there is nothing to rely upon but the divine and you will find it difficult to trust at times. The, this night will end, however, and the sweetness of the divine dawning in your heart shall render all worthwhile. But for now, you are meant to feel exactly as you feel. You are not doing something wrong. You are moving closer to the divine. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Pisces? Wait till after this one. Put some more water in it. What messages do we have? Okay, wait till after they, I finish this one. What messages do we have? My, we bought an eggs for a salad. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, and Rising Venus? This is for January the 26th through uh, February the 1st. I don't know why I was going to say August. Okay, so what messages do we have for January the 26th, January the 27th, January the 28th, January the 29th, January the 30th, January the 31st, and February the 1st? What messages or guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, and Rising Venus for the week of? January the 26th through February the 1st, 2020. All right, we'll do that. Hey, man. So some of you guys are in suspension. All right. So with the Five of Pentacles, I feel like you're dealing with some type of uh, worry here. That's why you're in suspension. You're worried about something. Let's see here. For Sunday, we have the Knight of Swords. So some of you guys, there's a need for you to move forward in regards to something, but you could be in a space of being worried. Monday here we have some regret. Um, some of you guys may need to change your perspective around the situation, especially with the Bible Cups and the Hangman. You may be crying over spilled milk when in actuality you're just needing to take action about something. Um, this could be dealing with a relationship or dealing with your own beliefs for Tuesday here. Wednesday we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with a Taurus here. So some of you guys could regret not taking action um, in dealing with a Taurus. All right, so... Chariot here, Cancerian energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be making a sensible decision to move forward or you could be dealing with a cancer. Now, for some of you guys, this is about nurturing a situation or being compassionate to a situation. Some of you guys are dealing, I feel like you're dealing with regret around a wife. Queen of Pentacles is wife. Um, it may not be a Taurus. It could be a Virgo, but it may not be an Earth sign at all. This could actually be now, I do have an earth sign here. I'm not going to tell you I don't. Queen of Pentacles is an earth sign, um, and that is Virgo. But I feel like for some of you guys, you're having regret because you have not used the knowledge that you have within yourself to move forward. You're already motivated to move forward, but you're in suspension because something needs to change here. You're not trusting. You see how th these eyes are here? Some of you guys are not trusting your own intuition. You're not trusting your own thoughts. High priestess here. Cancerian energy here twice. So we have Chariot here and the High Priestess. I feel like for some of you guys, you could very much be in the space of needing to trust your own intuition about moving forward. Um, I feel like away from something, but you're in suspension and not taking action. Saturday here is Seven of Swords. So you may be in the space of being deceptive either to yourself or someone else, especially if you're not trusting your own intuition. My legs hurt. So why is this Knight of Swords here for Monday? We have the Death Energy here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Queen of Pentacles, Magician. I feel like for some of you guys, in order to manifest something to change in your life, you have to look at a situation more sensibly. I feel like you're not in a space of making compassionate decisions for yourself. Now, this could be a feminine energy that needs to trust her own intuition in regards to moving forward in her life and creating transformation by manifesting what she desires or manifesting what she desires and creating a transformation because of that. I feel like for some of you guys with the Knight of Wands here, you may be being very careful within your actions, um, but really and truthfully, you're needing to just move. 
So, Monday here we have the Five of Cups. I do feel like there's some regret. There could have been some messages here that caused you to feel regret around something. Why is this Five of Cups here? So we have the Nine of Swords. There's some anxiety here. Emperor is a masculine energy. King of Pentacles. That's husband and wife. Seven of Cups here. I feel like for some of you guys, you're confused around some responsibilities and that is creating some anxiety or you're dealing with someone else that's confused around responsibilities and creating anxiety. I feel like someone needs to be confident about releasing regrets around a situation and working on gaining control of something. Yes. So with the happen here, why is this happen here? This could be based on beliefs. King of Cups here. So this could be a, a father figure, or King of Cups is Cancerian energy, but this can be a father figure that's in the space of embracing the end of a difficult um, connection, a difficult job, a difficult relationship. Virgo energy here, Hermit, Ace of Wands. So I feel like you could have a new opportunity here. Someone could also be extending an olive branch to you, wanting to embrace the end of difficulties within a relationship. So some of you guys could be dealing with an either a water sign or a Virgo that wants to extend an olive branch here, wants to change your perspective and embrace the end of difficulties around a connection. Um, I don't feel like you're going to go for that because with the Queen of Pentacles, she's not, she doesn't just give. She's compassionate, but she doesn't just give just because someone extends an olive branch. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Three of Wands here with the Two of Cups. I feel like you're waiting, either you're in a space of having patience within a connection here. No, Eight of Cups here. So someone's going to decide to walk away or someone has grown emotionally. Feeling as though Ten Cups, whatever situation that they are in or was in, has reached fulfillment, meaning there's nothing else that they can gain from it. Someone here has a lot of mental clarity moving forward. So even though there's these opportunities, someone's very much in the space of being disciplined within themselves and choosing to trust their own intuition because someone knows that there are some deceptive behavior surrounding a situation. Why is this chariot here? Why is this chariot here? We have the Three of Pentacles here. This could be a friendship or this could be someone in the space of cooperating. Um, two of Wands, Two of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. This is Five Pentacles. So there is, someone is left out in the cold and at a crossroads about a situation about moving forward here. Eight Wands, there's energy moving forward. Someone is in a space of wanting to take action after some sort of heartbreak, but you need to trust your own intuition. Someone may be very deceptive around some type of so some of you guys you could receive some messages from someone dealing with some heartbreak surrounding some sort of relationship i feel like this person may be coming to you um either for clarity but i feel like this person needs to embrace the end of a difficult situation and i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like this person needs to grow up um and the only reason why i'm saying that is because i feel like someone is using you for I don't know if they're using you because they feel at a lack and you like fulfill them emotionally like it's a codependency whatever this is is a codependency and with the three of pentacles i don't know if this is a friend or if this is like an actual relationship but someone is in the space of draining your energy and i feel like it's either through messages i don't feel like this is directly like a relationship i feel like this is like a friend or something or someone that you're compassionate about that may be taking advantage of your compassion so why is this high priestess here why is this high priestess here i don't know if i looked it up we're gonna look at it again why is this high priestess here so seven swords you know that somebody's lying page of pentacles here somebody here is really in a space of not of not how do i say someone doesn't see the worst of them being able to move forward from a situation so someone is telling some lies ten pentacles here uh, around some sort of commitment there are some lies in regards to commitment you need to trust your own intuition and understand that whatever you're receiving from this person whether this is someone that you're in a relationship with a friend a colleague they're not being honest with you about whatever this is that is happening so with the seven of swords here i feel like someone is hiding the truth now they may be speaking some truths letting some things go but page of swords Someone needs to speak the truth without tech. I feel like someone's hiding truth from you. Empress here. It could be a feminine energy here. Ace of Cups here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to move forward and really embrace. You got three aces in your clarification, meaning the changes that are going to happen within the situation are going to bring about a new opportunity for either you or someone else. But you need to be very discerning of what you're taking in because some of you guys have a... I don't know if this is a codependent connection. I don't think it's karmic, but I think this is a codependent connection where someone is gaining fulfillment from reaching out to you. 
you're needing to really put the brakes on this because they're draining your energy um, indirectly. All right. And this could be like a mother figure because with the emperors, that could represent a mother figure as well. Or it could be a Taurus or a Libra. All right. So let's see here. What guidance do we have? What guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have? We have focus, release. Some of you guys need to focus on releasing this situation with power here. Like, clearly, this is Sun card here. So someone is going to show you some truth. I um, mean, you may not want to accept it because, I, like I said, for some of you guys, this is like a partner or a friend, like someone that you're close to, maybe even someone that you have history with. You're needing to focus on releasing the connection because this person is not being honest with you. This is all I have.